as someone who doesn't meditate, that's me. Um, how often do you do it? What do you do? What is that? What do you do when you meditate? I just sit on my butt like I did up there. <laughs> Listen to my breath going in and out of my body. Uh, you know, well, you say you don't meditate, but I, I think you probably do meditate. I mean, you're, you're a guy who uh, was at business and uh, neuroscience. So I always think, and I've always thought of my work as a meditation. Like what I do is a meditation. So there's, there's a cooking meditation, there's a walking meditation. It's what you put your mind and focus to in a certain way can be a meditation. But what I do is I listen to the breath going on in my body and it tells me where I'm at. So sometimes the breath is a little, <laughs> because I just got a phone call that said, you're not gonna get this movie. <laughs> and sometimes the breath is like, because I realized I'm gonna get paid 100,000 bucks to do a commercial for one day. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. Because what so, I do is sit and try to not have any thought and let the thoughts go by and focus on my breath, which will slow down as I meditate and take me on the journey, which is the road inside, which is the road that I believe in my life, because I'll speak for myself. Uh, it's the road that I, some of us or I don't find uh, as often as I'd like to because I'm too busy with the world. Uh, so these days I meditate every single day because it gets you hooked. Once you, once you start and you do it, uh, it, it sort of, you connect to something on a deeper level, which is the true self. And then I don't seem to worry about the $100,000 commercial. I don't seem to worry about not getting the next movie. I don't seem to worry even about when People I love and adore leave us because I realize that it's their time. So everything becomes, um, as a guru said to me, all is well. And it makes me, helps me to understand that, um, and if you're a Buddhist, uh, that um, this is a transient time in a human physical form and to identify with pleasure or pain, which is what I have done for years. Uh, and it makes me want to ask you a bunch of 10, 10 questions that are popping in my head right now because I do get pleasure from my meditative work. And I do get pleasure from certain things and why not get pleasure? What's wrong with having pleasure? Um, it's the attachment to the pleasure. And if you've ever been an alcoholic or a drug addict or had a you know, predilection for anything that makes you sort of feel uh, that you lose your inhibitions, get out of your body, then you know what that is because it kind of feels good because you don't, you don't, you don't have, you don't, you're able to talk more and be more gregarious and all these other things. Uh, but you always have to sort of come back into this kind of form again, which is the crash, the crash after coffee, the crash after Coke, the crash after alcohol. It's the crash when you go, oh, I can't always live in that place. Well, when I listen to my breath, I can live in that place and I can be cool with it and it, and it works for me and it's okay.